In the summer of 2017, South Carolina utility companies decided to halt construction of two new nuclear reactors on the VC Summer Nuclear Project. The project was originally supposed to be completed in 2018 and cost $11.5 billion. In 2017, it was determined that the reactors would not begin generating electricity before 2021 and could cost as much as $25 billion. The companies had spent over $9 billion before cancelling the project and the reactors were only 40% completed. What was meant to be the vanguard of a U.S. nuclear comeback, as U.S. had not built any nuclear reactors since 1970, instead was a major setback for U.S. ambitions to reinvigorate the nuclear power industry. So what went wrong? First, the utility companies selected an advanced reactor design from the Westinghouse Electric Company, the AP-1000. However, when construction started, new features were incorporated into the design that caused significant re-engineering. In addition, since no new re reactors had been built for 40 years, supply chain and engineering expertise had been lost. In the resulting fallout, Westinghouse, the company responsible for the design and construction of the plant, filed for bankruptcy, and the utilities companies decided to accept the losses rather than pass the costs on to consumers. The root cause? Poor decision making. Here is another example of poor decision making. In 2004-2005, Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger of California was involved in a complex decision making process. He was not considering a role for his next action movie, nor was he selecting a new energy weapon to blast villains in a sci-fi movie. This is something more serious. The governor involved himself in the design process for a new bridge in San Francisco. This was not just any bridge. The $6.3 billion project was to replace the existing Bay Bridge. The original plans called for this section of the bridge east of Yerba Buena Island to include a huge suspension span. Although the construction of the foundations for the suspension span had started a few years earlier, the governor's office insisted that a simple viaduct would be cheaper and faster to build. Transportation officials did not agree, believing that a design change from a suspension span to a viaduct would slow construction. Early in 2005, the governor's side appeared to have prevailed. Work on the foundation was halted and the contract was terminated. However, months later, following a detailed analysis, both sides agreed to follow the original design, which included the suspension span. In the end, the fight over the bridge design cost the taxpayers of California $81 million. If you do not live in Northern California, you may not be directly affected by the Bay Bridge cost overrun. However, directly or indirectly, at some time you will pay for somebody's wrong decision regardless of where you live or what you do. You pay more when cost related problems in developing new drugs are passed on to consumers in the form of higher prices for medications. Dry wells lead to increased costs for oil and gas exploration and production, leading in turn to higher prices at the gas pump. Governments sometimes implement ill-considered policies that can adversely affect taxes. You make wrong decisions. The cheap brand of deck coat that you use to save a couple of dollars is already peeling off and you will have to paint your deck again next year, hopefully with a better brand. Why is decision making so complicated? Most problems in project management involve multiple objectives. Tesla's Model 3 is supposed to be an affordable, reliable, sporty, fuel efficient, high tech, luxurious, and practical mass produced electric car. That is truly ambitious. In addition, the supply chain management had to be built from scratch. New manufacturing processes needed to be developed. And 
distribution and delivery processes needed to be implemented. Finally, costs had to be kept under control. This is quite a list of objectives that need to be achieved in a very short time frame. No doubt there were some hiccups along the way, particularly in regards to delays in reaching production goals and cash flow concerns. Decision analysis will help to prioritize objectives. Project managers deal with uncertainties. Predicting the future is not an easy task. Selecting alternatives is the primary objective of decision analysis. Decision analysis offers tools to help project managers deal with uncertainties. Project management problems can be complex. The number of alternatives you face in managing a project can be significant. Decisions are usually made sequentially based on previous decisions. Moreover, understanding how each decision will affect subsequent ones is difficult. Most projects include multiple stakeholders. Project managers deal with clients, project team members, project sponsors, and subcontractors, among others. All these sto stakeholders have different objectives and preferences. Decision analysis as a process. The solution is the decision analysis process. Decision analysis is a practical framework of methods and tools to promote creativity and help people make better decisions. The process includes four major phases. Decision framing or structuring the problem, modeling the alternatives, quantitative analysis, and implementation, monitoring, and review of the decisions. Each phase of the process involves several steps. If you need more information, please read our book, Project Decisions, The Art and Science.